Tucked away under a bed of sandy desert lies a hidden ancient city. These outcrops are the remnants of Madayan Saleh or Al Hajr, a lost kingdom located 22 kilometers from Al Ula, northeast of Al Medina. While many have heard of the Nabatin capital of Petra in neighboring Jordan, few have ventured to their second largest city, which has been a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 2008. This was once a thriving metropolis. Now a set of well-preserved 1st century BC tombs and structures dot the Silk Road towards what was a vast trading empire. The area contains evidence of earlier civilizations, such as the Manians of Yemen, and the Lionids of Arabia. Inscriptions on Ikma Mountain reveal the names of tribes and the laws of those who carved them centuries ago. This 2,000-year-old library is where Lionid inhabitants wrote their life story. This site is a hidden treasure from Saudi's past, and today the kingdom aims to make it a part of its future, in light of the country's 2030 vision. The vision aims to lessen the kingdom's dependence on oil and transform its economy by developing public services and increasing tourism. I met with the CEO of Al Ula Royal Commission, who's working to revive the long covered up history. We soared over many ancient sites, including Al Akra Mountain, where the first Muslims would rest on their way to Mecca. These are the memories of travelers. This is their permanent hashtag on Twitter. Uh, for us today to understand. Amr explained the plan to preserve Al Ula and open it up to the world. Our phase one completes in 2023. We will be introducing by then um, significant uh, tourism and hospitality um, and culture infrastructure in, uh, in Al Ula. This includes creating living museum network from galleries, um, from outdoor art installations, to uh, viewpoints. Uh, for this destination to succeed, we have to protect heritage and nature because ultimately they are the reason why this place is special. Nestled in this desert oasis lies the old city of Al Ula, established around 800 years ago. The local community here have hosted the travelers for centuries, but the aim today is to build the next generation of hospitality from the ground up Abdullah is a local guide who started working in tourism two years ago. We strive to create a balance between heritage preservation of these beautiful treasures inside Al Ula, as you can see, along with hosting hundreds of thousands of tourists. In the next 14 years, the government plans to increase the revenue earned from tourism to 18% of its GDP. And by hosting major events around national sites like Al Ula, the conservative kingdom hopes to turn a new page in its history.